good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from welcome to my channel if you are new here you're you most welcome kindly subscribe to my channel like the video and you leave a sweet comment down below if you are my returning subscribe subscriber you are most welcome back yeah you are welcome back and thank you so much i want to say a special thank you for all of you for your love for your support you have been amazing i've seen your love and i've seen your support and i'm grateful me god bless you so today we want to talk about hmm, what is <laughs> what is up there you can see the title yeah as a kenyan the few things that i discovered they are a little bit shocking not shocking here and there yeah uh, you know the culture shock this is my culture shock video i've been wanting to do this video for car park quite some time but due to unavoidable circumstances i could not but now i'm here let's talk about nigeria hmm. i want to start with the airport my arrival to this beautiful country nigeria is in west africa if you're not aware is in the western part of africa so it's in west africa coming to nigeria uh, before even i interacted with people outside the airport i had an amazing arrival you know when you go to any country the way you are received in that country makes you feel welcomed and makes you feel at home for me my arrival was amazing i met very good immigration officers because i had to move one point a to point b and i didn't know where to go they were amazing and they helped me a lot uh, they were very very good to me and my airport experience was very good how was your amazing experience if you have been to nigeria before leave your comment for me it was amazing i felt home i felt that I'm, I'm i'm welcomed in this beautiful and amazing country in west africa coming to the people after leaving the airport and meeting the people of nigeria oh my goodness i'm not exaggerating anything nigerians are a wonderful and amazing people and one thing i noted about them is how they make you feel at home i noted that as you as a black person in nigeria coming to nigeria you feel home they make sure you are okay they will ask you how is our weather that is how much they love their country and how much they love you as a foreigner if you come to this country i felt welcome how is your weather my time i hope it's not too hot hey can you take soft you know yes is it too you do want to very cold they were really concerned to know how is the weather how is the food <laughs> is our food good hey, how everything they really want to know everything about you how you are feeling is the weather too harsh is the weather okay is our country good to you that is how nigerians are coming to nigeria for me is a very very great great experience because i've learned a lot being here in nigeria and i've learned a lot about nigeria and one thing i've noted and I, as i'll continue to talk about this is how welcoming they are how loving they are how kind they are i cannot tell you how many times i've been offered chilled water they call it chilled water here you know nigeria is hot most part of nigeria is also when they give you that chilled minerals that they call it here you feel so nice and there are so many so many times i've been offered food i've been offered water i've been offered minerals as you call it back home maybe soda fanta coca-cola such and you feel so great this is a country where nobody will call you a foreigner the only way you know you're a foreigner is when they're interacting with you and loving you nobody will tell you where are you coming from why do you, are you in this country these are things you never hear in this country they just love you they just welcome you and make you feel at home being in nigeria you feel at home and that is one thing i've learned about nigerians they are welcoming they're very kind they're very loving yeah that is my experience being here in nigeria forget the things you hear about nigeria this and that nigeria that one thing i've learned even in our homes yeah in our homes you find that one child that don't want to listen to you in our community the same in a country what do you expect there are people who just choose to be bad that does not mean the rest of nigeria is a bad country no 
that is not the, my ex, my experience here is so different and i've learned a lot about being here in nigeria so if you have ever had maybe a negative experience in nigeria is that person who have chosen to do wrong but majority of nigerians are kind and loving people another thing i've noted here in nigeria and i'm sorry i've really talked a lot about uh, nigerians but i need to clarify that is how they their food hey their food they love pepe here they use a lot of uh, pepe as we call it back home pili pili most of their food they use a lot of pepe so if you are not used to eating pepe you may find it a little bit different because this this uh, in nigeria mm, i found that uh, they love using pepe a lot and it's normal for them and they also love soup you know when they are making their their soup they put a uh, tomato a lot of tomato they use a lot of tomatoes here they use uh, onions they mix everything together and they blend they like <laughs> blending a lot here in nigeria so with that they use a lot of pepper when they are blending and that's how they do it here so that is number two of the things that i've noted here so if maybe you don't like pepper a lot maybe a little bit tough for you or a little bit difficult because they love pepper i hope it's not maybe it's all part of nigeria but the part of nigeria that i've gone i see they use a lot of pepper even in back home we use pepe but not as much as they use pepe here in nigeria another thing that i've noted here in nigeria is how they call things <laughs> something fair something that i would say maybe back home i call it soda i would say give me fanta there give me coca-cola they call it minos or oh, way back i'll say ah how much are you selling this uh uh first here yeah, they call it singlet so a few things that they do a little bit different like uh, the way they call it they call it different than the way we call it back at home so that is something that i've noted another thing that i noted here in nigeria is the way they drive nigeria drives on the left side or kenya drives on the right side and coming from kenya you kind of sometimes get confused because you'll be running to the driver side instead of the passenger side so being being coming from there is was a little bit tricky but as time goes by you learn so can nigeria drives on the left side and that is what happens here or kenya drives on the left side and as time goes on you learn that's another thing that i noted another thing that i noted is uh, the weather hmm. the weather here is hot is very hot according to the parts that i've gone i've gone to lagos I've, I've gone to ondo state yeah these areas that i've gone to the southwest part of nigeria and uh, that is ondo state they are hot even being out here i'm sweating they are there but there is a reason i have chosen to sit outside here where there is breeze because it is hot uh, nigeria is hot most of the parts of nigeria are hot but i've come to realize and understand that it's not the whole of nigeria that is hot so part of nigeria are not hot they are cold they say like a place like jaws is cold but the my experience here the places that i've gone they, they are hot so when if you're coming from a cold place you need to carry at least warm clothes that you i mean uh, light clothes that it will not be too hot for you because you have if you carry hot clothes i mean warm clothes and you're coming to a hot place it might be very very difficult and even you end up not using them because it's a uh, it's hot but i also understand that they have seasons where it's a little bit colder than this time i don't know when is that season i've not yet learned it but they say they also have cold season but this time it is hot but generally nigeria the past that i've gone and traveled are hot so if you're coming from a cold place carry warm clothes so that you enjoy this country and it's a beautiful and amazing country another thing i want to talk about is their mode of transport <laughs> they do have many modes of transport yes i've noted that you can use the boda boda as we call it back home you can use your okada that is okada you can use keke they call it keke here that one we call it tuk tuk 
you can use matatu, you call matatu. Their matatu says they are different because I've seen most of their mat, most of their uh, cities they use the um, taxis and they have different colors. If you have not watched my video, the one I did in Lagos, kindly go and watch. They have yellow taxis there. And what I want to talk about uh, Nigeria, I've noted is their mode of transport. They have different ways that you can move around wherever you are going within the city and also outside the city and they can use they use boda boda that is what we call it back in in kenya here they call it a uh, okada or keke they call it keke here we call it tuk tuk they also use matatu although it's different from our the matatu they use in Nairobi, the one they use graffiti and all that, here are different kind of matatu. If you've watched my previous video I did about my first impression about Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, you, you can see that they have yellow tax in mode of SD. That is the color that I, they use in, in Lagos. But in Ondo State, and I visited Ondo State, they also have different color in their capital city and uh, maybe i'll insert that video here they have yellow and bluish like that in i did a video about the accuracy you can also go and check that video that is how their transport is so the taxes have different colors so that is something i found different because every state have a different color for their taxi so that is something that i noted they also have brt and uh, nigeria is uh, ahead when it come to brt they have brts where you can go to, to their stages they are brt bus stop and i did a video also you can go and check that and you can go there get a brt moving from one location to another that is in in lagos and also they have railway they have blue line railway is an electric mode of uh, electric it's an electric train and i i also need a video you can go and check the video so many videos i've done you can go if you have not watched those videos kindly go and check so i found that they have different kind of transport here in nigeria they use all this kind of transport but the one that i noted is the colors of their taxes that every state has a different color so and i also want to ask this question where are you running nigeria oh my god nigeria drives fast hey mm. they drive very fast i watch how they drive and they drive very very fast whether it's personal or public that is something that i'm not they, they drive a uh, very 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 fast compared to the way i see they drive there here they drive very fast and they shout at you hey move move from this side this is their hood hey hey that is when you know it's called welcome to nigeria welcome to nigeria but some things i normally understand i normally imagine that being a very Nigeria is a very very big country imagine trying to organize all these people it's not easy so sometimes i understand maybe that's the reason everybody is moving that's the reason i'm asking where are you running where are you running because you are always running you are always busy i've seen most of the cases uh, 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 police normally stop the cars and they watch the driver where are you running that's why i'm asking the question where are you running leave in the com your comments leave your comment down below that may be i understand where you are running so these are the things that i've noted about nigeria yeah there yeah, there is some few things that i uh, i've noted that ah they are quite different yeah from where i'm coming from and when you see me checking down i'm just reminding myself of the this that i've noted down yeah so another thing i noted about nigeria is the their the way their way of life the way they, are li they live. Nigerians love themselves. Let nobody teach you out, they lie to you out there. Nigerians love themselves to an extent that how they love their music. Hey, I love Nigeria music. They say here, go, go. I love Nigeria music a lot. Even where I come from, we love Nigeria music. And even when we enter our public transport, you listen you can enter the you call it matatu you can enter matatu from where you've 
you are from you are the whole of your destination you are listening to nigeria music but coming here or oh, nigerians love their music a lot whenever you go you listen to nigeria music people themselves i had an interesting time when i, I was doing my hair and people in that salon i dance nigeria music from the beginning to the end and it was beautiful they we we had fun because everybody they can sing from one song to another from one musician to another yeah from one buna boy to a circuit to an they love their music they play it a lot and they love their music and that that that's something that i love because you've got to love your own first even before you love another person even the bible say love yourself first so that even you can be in a position to love another person so i know that they they love their music very very much and they play it a lot and they dance it and they love who they are as nigerians i also do love nigerian music a lot they're coming from from kenya uh, the kenyans love nigerian music a lot another thing i noted about nigeria is how they love their culture yes this is something that i've noted the way they do things how they 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 respect how they greet culturally the way they you see like i've visited the uh, ondo state and this side have yoruba people and i've noted that uh, the way they respect you when they are greeting you oh my goodness they will greet you with respect i've been to lagos and i've seen how people will greet you with respect they call you good morning ma good morning sir good mo they even if they say good morning they will add sir they will add ma they gi they give you that respect a lot when they are greeting you and and that is how they have been brought up it's part of them it's part of their car of their culture how they should give someone respect give them respect treat them with respect if someone step on you they'll say i'm sorry they are so it's so easy to say sorry here so easy i'm sorry they they say it so easily yeah there are people who observe how they treat you here in nigeria and so that is something i've noted i say wow this is so beautiful that when you see someone in the morning you say good morning they also love greeting they'll say good morning good afternoon good evening. that is something in them that whenever they see you they don't have to know you to say hello no they'll greet you whether they know you whether they don't know you that is something they have been brought up doing it and they love doing it and it's so good you feel ah this person has recognized me this person has said hello it makes you feel so good i've noted that part of nigeria that they love greeting a lot a lot they greet a lot they want to know how you are they want to know how you are doing that is part of them and even if they are greeting you they will add to it respect they will greet you with the respect so that that is something that i've noted being here the lot of respect they observe a lot of respect you hear a person tell you don't don't you you want you you don't have you hear another person tell you ah how can you talk like that you don't have respect so respect is very important to them even to their families there are things you can never do because they will tell you you are digressing your family so it goes back to the way the person was brought up is very 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 important you should respect someone the way you talk to them the way you treat them i've observed that been here been here i'm learning more than what someone can tell you so been here i've learned a lot of how they behave here how they treat you make you feel welcome here they don't make you feel you are a foreigner that you don't belong here or what are you doing here you are an african number one number two you're a human being so they make you feel you are welcome to be here that is how they make you feel here in nigeria and when you come to observe about the cost of living here i'll i'll say it's fair i'll say it's fair number one is fair. okay it can be fair because i'm not from here but even the way they live they live a, a healthy life a healthy life in this uh, the food they grow they grow organically most of the food that they grow i've observed they are organically grown so the food you are eating the food that you are consuming is most of it is organically grown like they love uh, traditional vegetables they love those traditional vegetables here you don't see a lot of uh, these uh, vegetables like uh, no they love uh, 
organ and I'm not saying sukumawiki are bad, no, because I also eat sukumawiki. They love those organic uh, vegetables like terere, like uh, morenda, as we call it back, is here. They always call it uh, okra. They have okra. They have many types of organic uh, vegetables and also consume their part of the yam. They consume good natural food. That is something I've observed. When you go to their market, and I've been to a market here in Nigeria, you observe that the food that is there, they have not used fertilizer. They have tried very much to maintain how they grow their food. That is what I've observed. So what you are consuming is healthy and it is good. That is something that I observed. Hey, hmm. ha. I was almost to forget this one. And this one is very, very important. Very, very important. And they say here is how they dress. For me, I love how they dress. They are cultural dress. They are Ankara. They are race. How they dress when they are going for occasions. How they are going with their dress when they go for party. I love the way they dress. Their cultural way of dressing is so amazing. They make you feel this is who I am as an African. They make you feel, yeah, this is the way I'm supposed to be. You know, an African should have their own dresses, their own way, the way they dress, being an African. So and when a Nigerian stand out, you see, ah, this one is a Nigeria. Out of the way they are dressed and out of the way, they call it package here, out of the way they package themselves. You see, this one is the Nigeria. That, well, that is the reason why I'm saying Nigerians love themselves. They want to wear something that speaks of who they are. Yeah, yeah the, the way they, they wear their Ankara is so beautiful. You see, when they are going to location, they wear different, different, different. They wear, they have different uh, occasions, but they wear beautiful, wonderful Ankaras and dresses. So that is something that I've noted here. The way they dress, I love it. I love their Ankara. I love their dresses. They will stand up from the rest. Yeah, and where is these beautiful dresses? Hey, what of the party? Ah! Nigerians love party. Oh! Nigerians can party. And this party, oh, they have statements. It's not just party. In this party, you eat your jollof. You eat your, you eat your fried rice. You eat your padded yam. You eat your snail. You eat different. They say, Oh, rich, rich. <laughs> I'm learning here. I'm learning here. They eat different, different kind of food. So an occasion also has to stand out. Ah, there is no way to dress up good like this and not also eat good food. Eh? And chilled minerals, as they say here. So I've observed many, many things being here. The way they go to party, they wear the same uh, Ankara, very nice. And the designs, hey! Besides, very nice, beautiful designs, and the food is so nice. I love their food, it's so tasty, and I fall in love with pili pili. I love pili pili now. Although, where I come from, we don't consume a lot of pili pili. But when you start eating pepe, you love pepe. Nicely done with correct palm oil. Yeah, they do it very well. So, it's something that I've observed here that they do here in Nigeria. There is a lot you can learn coming here. If you've never been to Nigeria, make sure you check. You let it be on your bucket list and say, I want to visit this country. It's a beautiful country here in West Africa. It's a very nice, beautiful country. I'm here. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun being here. I'm learning a lot. And I wish I can travel all parts of Nigeria. Because Nigeria is a very big country. You learn a lot of things going to different places. Yeah, you go to wedding, you learn. You go to party, you learn. Many, many, many things that you learn here. So I want to end this video here. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like the video and leave your comment. Leave your comment about Nigeria. What do you love most about Nigeria? Is this their food? Is this the way they dress? Is this their music? What is your favorite thing about Nigeria? Here, yeah, I've learned everything uh, about Nigeria. I'm still learning and I still want to learn more about Nigeria. I want to say bye for now because it's bye for now. I still want to go to other places to show you more about Nigeria. 
bye for now and see you on the next one